Last week, I released a shirt with a head crab telling a joke on a piano and demonstrated how to import the hotel lobby into a map and add Brad the bartender. Today, I'll describe how the head crab on the piano works. There are two aspects to this. First, getting the head crab to stay on the piano, and second, trying to time a sequence to match the head crab movements to the script. If you've never used Funk HLVR nav markup entities, then you might find that occasionally your NPCs don't go where you want them to or move erratically. Here I'll drop a piano prefab into a template map. On your toolbar, there's an option for navigation. If you click on navigation and then nav preview, you'll see certain sections of the map will be covered in blue. The blue marks areas your NPC can move through and it radiates out from these funk HLVR nav markup entities. Any area without the blue, NPCs will avoid. In this case, under the piano and on top of the piano are off limits. And if I try to place a head crab on the piano, when I run the map, she'll immediately try to get to the closest blue area. To fix this issue, I can drop a second Funk HLVR nav markup on top of the piano, or any object that I want an NPC to be able to stand on. If I rerun the nav preview, you can see how adding the new nav markup adds an additional blue area on top of the piano. Now if I place a head crab on the piano, she will stay there. You'll need to make sure you've set your AI relationships to ensure the head crab doesn't immediately attack any combine or players in your scene. Now that the head crab is on the piano and calm, you can start working on your scripted sequence. I record the joke using a voice mod application and imported it as a sound point, and I can make another video around importing sounds. I set the source of the sound to be the head crab. In order to time the joke, I set up an output from a logic auto entity with a set delay from map load instead of setting up a trigger. If your scene is simple, you can time events like this, but for some complex maps, you should set up triggers based on where the player is. Now here's the mundane part. I'm not an animator, instead I'm a bit of a tinkerer, so I rely on the animation that Valve provides with NPCs and try my best to string them together using scripted sequences. For a few seconds of dialogue, I ended up using 13 animations, and I could have spent a lot more time on this trying to get just the right animation sequence. If you open up a head crab in Model Doc, you can play through each animation and start writing down a list of sequences you think you might use during the dialogue. The next part really depends on how you like to work, but I'll share what I do. I create a scripted sequence with some basic settings like a name underscore a, target NPC, and an action animation that doesn't do much. I set move to position no, and the next script to be the name of this script underscore b. Now I can copy and paste a bunch of times depending on how many animations I think it might take to get to the end of the dialogue. I go through and build a chain by adding suffixes, so I get A to B to C to D to E. Next, through trial and error, I change the animations, play the dialogue, then change the animation some more. If I find my chain was too short, I'll add a small branch by adding an additional underscore, this is so that I don't have to rename everything down the whole chain. Finally, when the chain is how I like it, I set the logic auto, or whatever trigger makes sense for your scene, to fire the first animation at the same time as the sound plays. Scripted scenes like this can go a long way to telling a story in your maps, and I highly recommend it, even if it doesn't really have anything to do directly with the player. If anyone has any tips for improving my workflow here, 
please don't hesitate to comment below. Like a lot of modders, I'm learning this as I go, and I'm sure there are better ways of achieving this kind of scripted dialogue. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your Half-Life Alex mods.